Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Anyway, this silent treatment. <laughs> Man, I mean, I forget my own birthday if she didn't remind me when it was. You should just apologize to her. I just said... <laughs> okay, what's going on? Nothing. Why? I can tell when you're off. <sighs> Just got some stuff on my mind. You let me know if you want to talk about it. Okay. Got stragglers. How many? Just a handful. You want to give it a whirl? Are you sure? Well, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> See that sign there? Red one? Try hitting that. It's a good way to draw them out of wherever they're hiding. There you go. Sounds attracting them. Well, we are on patrol. Let's clear them out. There you go. See a few more. Gotcha. I like this thing. Two left. That's all of them. Usually more over this way if you want to keep shooting. Okay. Where are they coming from? Hordes like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature... St shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Check out the shed. It looks like they're moving downhill. Hmm. Dead animal. Look up by the truck there. They're munching on that deer there. Guess they're hungry. Just take your time. You're a natural. I'm impressed. Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. Something by the ski lifts? Look way out there. Under those gondolas. By that tower. You see it? What you think? Beautiful. A handful more. Getting it. Three left. Well done. Couple more. Gonna have to tell Joel about this. Well, I'm not seeing any more. Yeah, me neither. All right. Let's head in. See if Joel's back. Sure. And her over. Hey, thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first.
I'm not supposed to say anything. But Joel's worried about you. There's... There's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's gonna think something's wrong. I'd talk to him. Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. <sighs> okay, I will try. At ease, fellas. That was y'all shooting out there, right? Oh, just some stragglers. Ellie got to try out my scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. I see you've, uh... You haven't gotten around to changing the string yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you'll, uh... We'll get you some new ones. There's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep anyway. I can keep watch. What do you say, kiddo? Sure. And that's our cue. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come? Get on now. He's waiting. Okay. Let's go. All right. On me, kiddo. Huh? So, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know, found two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrols. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. Though well, I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who... Look, you think you're ready. I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Hey, you remember those, uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, well, you know what? Not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match... <laughs> yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped, though. <laughs> You're funny. The music store's up that way. I'm gonna have to leave the horses here. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> There's that music store. Yeah, I see it. Boost? I got it. Uh, I don't think we can go this way. What? Well, damn. Used to be able to swim across this. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. Be something you think you can fit in there well, it's worth a shot <laughs> careful now yep i'm 
through. Right, hold on. All right. See anything? Uh, looking. Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? Nope. You're just too skinny. Need to eat more. You're welcome. I think I see a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. Ugh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. <laughs> you gotta be smart about this. You stop wearing that mask, kiddo, and eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody, do, have you? Not Jesse or Dina or... Of course not. Okay, good. <laughs> you ever been in here before? Just patrol the streets. Feeling like a bit of an oversight now. Maybe. patrol go through here is it one of us
say we give up on those strings for today. Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. Looks like it might be something. Following you. Fucking did it. Yeah, we sure did. You good? Uh, you know, other than being really old, ain't nothing. A solid night of sleep won't shake off. 
I want to get out of here. like two bloaters back there. It'll be fine. Spores are clear. <sighs> Quite the fight back there, huh? Not often we get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. Jesse and Dina are gonna lose their shit when they hear about this. Let's deal with them two anyway. A date, right? Uh, on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got a pretty keen eye for these sort of things. Not so keen with this one. Let's see. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Squeeze through there. <clears throat> See what it is? Yeah. Okay. Joel. Huh? I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're gonna end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Only they were immune, right? <clears throat> well, let's... Let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital... ...you said there were dozens of people like me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? Because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just would have given them more time, they could have figured Daddy. something out. There was no cure. 
There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? <laughs>